Hello Year 6 and welcome to your Year 6 English lesson, Lesson 2. As always, you'll need your pen or pencil, you'll need your home learning book or some paper to write on. Your task this week is to write the opening to Cloud Busting as a narrative. We will focus on character description and share this writing with our adults at home. Our narrative will be based on the characters from our destination reader book, Cloud Busting. So pause your video and write down our purpose for writing and our audience. You should have written down that our purpose is to describe characters and that our audience are our adults at home. Remember, they have not read the book, so we need to introduce these characters really well. Let's get started with Lesson 2's feature. Have a look at my example and follow along as I read. Be thinking about which feature has been highlighted in red. It was at that moment that the jaded boy became aware that the room, which had once been filled with the humming voice of the teacher, was now filled with silence. His wide eyes searched desperately for what he had missed. It then became painfully clear. His teacher had asked a question and every pair of eyes were fixed squarely on him. The startled boy, now almost scarlet with embarrassment, sat up dead straight. Mouth gaping and throat dry, he willed himself to say something, anything. Sorry, Mr. Mackey, he stammered. Could you repeat the question? He forced his tearing eyes to remain fixed on the teacher. He dared not look away. Your poem, Sam? The teacher prompted. What will you write about? He smiled, although his eyes seemed narrow and cold. The boy sank heavily back into his seat and he allowed his eyes to drift to that empty chair in the classroom. There was only one thing which he wanted to write about, or even speak about, or think about. Can I write about Davy? So let's have a look at the feature that's been highlighted in this example. What is the highlighted feature? And a challenge, what effect does it have on the reader? Pause your video and either say it out loud or write it down into your book. Let's have a look at today's feature. To use parenthesis to add detail when describing a character. Let's have a look at an extract from my example. His wide eyes searched desperately for what he had missed. The startled boy, now almost scarlet with embarrassment, sat up dead straight. The red feature has been used to add extra information and it's parenthesis. Well done if you got that one. So let's have a closer look at parenthesis. Parenthesis means extra information. Afterthought, clarify or interrupt. Punctuated with brackets, commas, dashes. Can be taken away and the sentence still works. Let's look at that again. Parenthesis means extra information. Your turn, Year 6. Afterthought, clarify or interrupt. Your turn. Punctuated with brackets, commas, dashes. Your turn. Can be taken away and the sentence still works. Your turn. Now let's have a look a bit closer at this. Parenthesis means extra information, afterthought, clarify or interrupt. Let's have a look at what that means. Afterthought. It was quiet. A little too quiet. See how I added that extra information at the end with a dash. Clarify. The boy, in the red shirt, was running down the road. I clarified which boy was being talked about and I used brackets for my parenthesis. Interrupt. He stared, without blinking, at the writing on the board. See how I interrupted the narrative to add some extra information with a pair of dashes. 
So what are brackets? Brackets are a way of separating information off. This is where we add our information within a pair of brackets. Brackets always work in pairs. Let's have a look at commas. For parentheses, we'll need a pair of commas to embed information. Celia, battling against the wind and rain, searched for the rabbit. See how the clause has been embedded within the main clause? A dash or dashes. Now for parentheses, a dash can work on its own or can be embedded with a pair of dashes. Let's have a look at them at work. The boy was trying hard to listen to the teacher. We have a main clause here. Let's see how parentheses can work with this first main clause. The boy, who fidgeted in his seat, was trying hard to listen to the teacher. I've used a pair of commas to embed this information. The boy, who fidgeted in his seat, was trying hard to listen to the teacher. See how I've used a pair of dashes here. The boy who fidgeted in his seat was trying hard to listen to the teacher. I've used brackets to embed this information. Let's have a look at the second example. See how my extra information is going to come at the end of this sentence. The boy was trying hard to listen to the teacher. It was impossible. I've used one dash to add this extra information. So now have a look at my examples. Find my example that does not use parentheses correctly. Pause your video and have a go. OK, let's have a look. The teacher who had been speaking, who had been speaking is extra information, but it has not been punctuated with brackets, commas or dashes. Number one is incorrect. He looked quickly around the room. What had he missed? has been added with a dash. This one works fine. While the teacher stared very hard indeed at the boy, he smiled a joyless smile. I've added my extra information with a pair of brackets. These two are correct. OK, let's have another go. Have I identified the parentheses correctly in all of my sentences? Pause the video and see what you think. My first example is not correct. Although he was smiling is an example of a fronted adverbial. My second example, he was scared, dead scared, works perfectly. I've added extra information with a dash. My final example, the teacher, who was standing at the front of the classroom, was now staring at the boy. The extra information has been added with a pair of commas. OK, let's have a look at parenthesis one more time. Parenthesis means extra information, afterthought, clarify or interrupt, punctuated with brackets, commas, dashes, can be taken away and the sentence still works. Remember today we're going to use parenthesis to add detail when we're describing a character. Which sentence is more engaging for the reader? How do you know? Pause the video and have a look at both of these sentences. OK, let's have a look. It was at that moment that the jaded boy became aware that the room, which was once filled with the humming voice of his teacher, was now filled with silence. Example 2. It was then the jaded boy became aware that the quiet room was now filled with a great amount of silence. The second example uses a lot of detail to describe the silence now in the room, but it hasn't used parenthesis. The first example uses a pair of commas to embed and add information. You might want to write down one as an example. Let's have another look. His wide eyes searched desperately for what he had missed. Number two, he looked around the room desperately Pause the video and see if you can choose which one uses 
parenthesis in an engaging way for the reader. OK, let's have a look. Both sentences use desperately, but the first example uses a pair of brackets. This is parenthesis. You might want to write down this as an example. Now, can you help me improve my writing? I've got my example, but I need help adding parenthesis in to really show the embarrassment and desperation of the boy. The startled boy sat up dead straight, mouth gaping and throat dry. He willed himself to say something. Pause the video and edit and refine my work. Add in some parenthesis. OK, let's see how you got on. Here was my first example. I've identified two places where I would like to add extra information with parenthesis. And here's my final version. The startled boy, who was now almost scarlet with embarrassment, sat up dead straight. Mouth gaping and throat dry, he willed himself to say something, anything. Can you see how I've used the brackets to embed some information? And I've used a dash at the end with a little afterthought to add emphasis. OK, Year 6, now it's your turn. Your writing task today is to continue to write the opening of the narrative. Remember, we need to let the reader know how this boy is feeling. And we want them to really want to know what is wrong with the boy. Think about setting the tone and moving the narrative on. We need to get to know about Davy today. Remember, we're focusing on that parenthesis to add detail and extra information. We want to really describe Sam through this narrative. And there's a reminder of what parenthesis is on your screen. If you're confident and ready to start writing, pause the video and give yourself about 20 to 30 minutes to write this piece. Remember, we're just introducing our character and really getting to know him. If you'd like to see a bit more of an example, stay with the video and I'll go through my example again. I'm going to read through my example with my highlighted feature. It was at that moment that the jaded boy became aware that the room, which was once filled with the humming voice of his teacher, was now filled with silence. His wide eyes searched desperately for what he had missed. It then became painfully clear. His teacher had asked a question, and every pair of eyes were fixed squarely on him. The startled boy, now almost scarlet with embarrassment, sat up dead straight. Mouth gaping and throat dry, he willed himself to say something, anything. Sorry, Mr Mackey, he stammered. Could you repeat the question? He forced his tearing eyes to remain fixed on the teacher. He dared not look away. Your poem, Sam, the teacher prompted. What will you write about? He smiled, although his eyes seemed narrow and cold. The boy sank heavily back into his seat and allowed his eyes to drift to that empty chair in the classroom. There was only one thing he wanted to write about, or even speak about, or think about. Can I write about Davy? Pause the video and begin your writing. You might want to use my example. I can't wait to read your writing at the end of the day. Good luck, Year 6.